My next guest is an award-winning journalist and an activist who's sure to hit the ground running in a fly pair of sneakers. But her latest docu-series, The 1619 Project, examines our country's history on topics like slavery, democracy, and race. Please welcome Nicole Hannah-Jones. <laughs> Come on, sis. Hey. Okay, Nicole, before we even start on what I want to talk to you about, I got to know, you got the flyest kicks <laughs> that I have ever seen. <laughs> like, wh when did this trend start with you? Well, like many kids, especially black kids, mm -hmm. I grew up, like, loving Jordans, loving sneakers, but parents who had Jordash money instead of Jordan money. <laughs> okay, uh, okay. So once I grew up, um, I just started collecting sneakers, and it's just one of my passions. I love Jordans, I love sneakers, um, and I've passed it on to my child. So that, so you, you passed it on to your daughter, but does, does your daughter inspire your, 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 like, your style, or do you inspire your daughter? Which way is it? <laughs> She's so gorgeous. I, um, she won't like that I say this, but clearly I am the inspiration for her. <laughs> clearly. <laughs> clearly. <laughs> and you got it. Well, you launched the 1619 Project in 2019, Nicole, and it started as a series of essays. It was to change the way people viewed slavery in America. What inspired you to make this docu-series? What really inspired me, um, you have to go back to 15-year-old Nicole who gets, um, takes my first black studies class in high school. And I uh, read a book called Before the Mayflower. And it made me realize, because that book talks about a ship called the White Lion that lands in Virginia in 1619. Mm. And while every American child learns about the Mayflower, the story of our ancestors and that ship in 1619 had been erased. Yeah. So it's really been a lifelong quest to force us to grapple with this history of slavery and to put black Americans at the center of the American narrative where we should be. Exactly. You know, in this project, you got support from Oprah as one of the people who, who just were with you on this. So having Oprah in your corner, uh, who is executive producing, what's that feel like? Oh my God, like it, it's hard to put into you know. words, right? Like I grew up watching this woman. I'm from a small town, Waterloo, Iowa, and never imagined, is somebody here from Waterloo? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, she went to school in Iowa. I'm like, look, it's rare when you meet another black person with a connection to Waterloo. You, you started, you was like, oh, all right, wait. wait. Um, but to, to have her in your corner and to have a woman like that who um, puts her power and is in the yes. room and says, you know what, Nicole wants it to be this way, that's the way it's gonna be, that means everything. Absolutely. <laughs> have an Oprah behind you. Yes. Now, I know that there's this movement to stop teaching African-American history in some wow. states, which I, I think is appalling. Why do you think it's important that, that this history be taught? This history has to be taught because it's the truth, yeah. right? So the, the idea that if we don't learn this history, then we can just put it in the past, that we can just cover it up. Um, clearly, you can look in our society. You can see all of the polarization that we're experiencing. You can see how we go from a black president to that other yeah. person who was yeah. in the White House, right? Like, this history is shaping our society, whether we acknowledge it or not. And I think if you are a great nation, you can face up to the things that you did in the past, and you can, you can move forward by confronting the truth. And I think that if you're not teaching it, you have even our own children. If we don't, if they, they got to know the history. You Absolutely. Know, if, you, you, it, it, if it's totally erased, then, w w you know, what do they draw from? Right. I mean, you ask about the inspiration. It was, you know, when I was a little black girl growing up, and I never saw anyone like me as an actor in the American story. Right. And so you start to believe, well, the reason they don't teach us about black people is because black people must not have done much worthy of being taught about. So yeah. we're all being shaped by the absence the 1619 Project is really about the silences of history. Yeah. It's about all these things that were happening um, that we don't learn about, and those things are shaping our perceptions of the world, whether we learn about them or not. So I, I absolutely agree with you. Now, here's the thing. With, with expressive thoughts <laughs> come a lot of criticism. Yes. How do you handle the backlash? Because I know you get it. Yeah, it depends on the day. <laughs> um, if you follow me on Twitter, you know some days I... I 
I will be the queen of clapback, but um, I'm learning to deal better with that. Yeah. One thing that can be hard when I didn't seek to be in the public eye, I didn't ever expect mm -hmm. to be in the public eye, is sometimes, you know, you're very sensitive. I'm an Aries, so I have a hot temper. And there were times where I was clapping back, but I realized that I was serving the purpose of those who were trying to right. draw me in. I was being baited. Yeah. Um, and so now um, I really do let it roll off my back because I'm like, y'all are talking about me. I don't even know who you are, so continue. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. It, you know, it's just so funny because we have people in our lives, and I'm talking about white people who get awkward. They don't know how to, how to have the conversation about race. So what would you say to people who are just like, I don't know what to say, I don't know what to do? Uh... Right. I mean, one, wel welcome to the world of a black person, right? We're, we're feeling awkward in these circumstances all the time. But really, it's not about what you need to say. It's understanding there's a lot you don't know. Mm -hmm. So actually, do some listening, do some introspection, do some reading, watch the 1619 Project documentary series, because the truth is, this is our shared history. Yeah. This is not the history of black people. It's not the history of white people. It's the history of America. And no Absolutely. one... Um, Absolutely. You know, just... I think it's important because we're hearing a lot with these laws that are being passed. Well, we don't want white children to feel uncomfortable or we don't want white children to feel guilty. None of this history is about making people feel guilty for something they haven't done. Right. But it, what it is saying is we have to acknowledge that these things happen and that you may be benefiting from them uh, whether you personally were involved in it or not. Or not, exactly. <laughs> You got so much going on in your life and you're teaching and you're, you know, you're just out and about. Can I just ask you, Nicole, what do you like to do for fun? Is there <laughs> something that just, you get to wind down? Oh yes, I, I throw parties, I like to drink a lot of bourbon and I love to cook and bake. <laughs> you like to cook? Why you bring nothing cooks? I love I know, to eat. Listen, I make the best seven up cake in America and next time I got you. You got me, okay. <laughs> And I do say this one thing to you. I know you're you're very you're very learned and you're very intelligent, but if you have a party, I got a bag of something I'ma bring. <laughs> I'll make you wind down, girl. <laughs> Nicole, I just want to say thank you so much for being here, for inspiring. Thank you. So honored. Thank you. The sixteen nineteen project is streaming on Hulu right now, and we'll be right back. Nicole Hannah Jones.